Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Fudani 1080p projector with Wi-Fi. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So this supports native 1080p. It supports 2.4 and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. So that's a nice feature. If you have a crowded 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi spectrum, you can connect this up to 5 gigahertz and have greater speeds. As Bluetooth, maximum 300 inch screen, comes with a carrying case. The branding on it is Aurora P3. On the side here it says it takes 85 watts. USB rating is 500 milliamps. So let's get this opened up. So here we have a nice case. So inside here we have some cleaning cloths and some cleaning swabs. And there's instructions in here on cleaning some of the internals. Here we have the user manual. So I'm not going to go over everything in this manual, but you'll want to read through all the instructions. So it has some little attention things here, like don't look straight into the projector and things on cleaning it. This is what it came with. It came with a projector, storage, remote, AC power cable, HDMI cable, AV cable. It says HDMI cable again, but I think that's the user manual. So here are the controls. We have focus and keystone. We have up, down, right, left, input source, menu, power, and return. On the front, we have infrared and the lens. On the side, we have USB 2, audio out, AV, HDMI 2, HDMI 1. It says UBS 1. I think that's USB 1. The other side, we have the speaker, infrared, and AC. On the bottom, we have dust cap, kickstand, M4 mounting, screw hole, and quarter 20 mounting screw hole. So that would be for a tripod. And here we have the remote. It's pretty basic. So there's a quick start. You want to plug it into an outlet, take off the lens cover, connect your device to the projector, press power to turn on the projector. We have a menu. We have a kickstand adjustment. It talks about focus and keystone, and you press power to turn it off. So you can connect an HDMI my device to this like a dvd player or a video game system this also has the ability to play video files it supports avi mp4 mkv flv move rmvw and a bunch of other standards you can read through all those it can also support audio files supports the standard ones aac mp3 flac aug ape amr wave and mp2 of course it has hdmi connections it will do screen mirroring so that's so you can cast from your devices to this it has AV input, so you can use that for legacy devices like a VCR. You can connect up a Bluetooth speaker, so that's a nice feature. And here is screen mirroring. So this talks about iOS screen mirroring. You can also connect your iPhone directly to it using a lightning cable. When you plug it in, it'll ask if you trust the computer. You say trust, and you can mirror the screen that way. It also does screen mirroring for Android devices. And here are the specs. So resolution is 1920 by 1080. This does support 4K. So if you plug a 4K device into this, it will downscale it to 1080p. So it supports 4K, 1080p, 1080i, 720p, 576i, 480p, and 480i. So the maximum resolution it can display is 1080p, but you can input other resolutions. Lens life is greater than 80,000 hours. Lumens is 300 ANSI lumens. Contrast ratio is 10,001. Focus is manual. Keystone is vertical, plus or minus 15 degrees. Has all the video formats. Has two USB inputs, two HDMI inputs, one AV input, has audio output port so you can hook speakers into it. Input voltage is 100 to 240 volts, 50, 60 hertz. Built-in speaker is four ohms at three watts. Power consumption operating is 85 watts. The projector size is 224 millimeters by 181 millimeters by 55 millimeters. The weight is two kilograms. Here's a little chart on the screen size for the distance. And here's some troubleshooting. It talks about things like using Netflix, Disney Plus, or Hulu may not support screen sharing due to copy protection. You can rotate the picture if you want to mount this on a ceiling. So let's get this out. Let's look at the cables real quick. We have a power cord. This is the AV cable. The remote control takes two AAA batteries. HDMI cable. Here's the projector itself. So we have a lens cover on it. There's the lens. Here's your focus and keystone. Here's your buttons speaker, vent, HDMI ports. Here's the infrared here, it's on the back. So you can point the remote at the front or back. It seems like usually if you point it in the general direction, it will pick it up on most devices like this. So here's the adjustable foot. So if you put this on a table, you'll unscrew this to adjust the height. And it also has rubber feet here. There's that quarter 20 thread for a tripod or other mount. So if you're doing like an outdoor movie night, and this is an indoor rated projector, but if it's dry and not you're not suspecting rain, you could potentially use this outside. Use your own judgment, obviously, but you might mount this on a tripod and then you could point it at an outdoor screen. So I'm going to get this connected up and we'll test it out. Okay, so I have the projector pointing at a screen and I think I'm right around 10 feet away. So it asked me my language and I didn't hit 
anything and it went to English automatically. So that would be correct for me. So first I'll go to settings and I'll look through these. It says picture mode, if soft, medium, vivid. I'll just leave it at default. Now I am navigating this with the remote control. Color temperature, warm, medium, user, cool. Aspect ratio, we have 3, 4, or 16, 9. Noise reduction, off, low, middle, high, default. It says reduce display size. So here we can shrink this down if we want. So it looks like it goes 50 to 100%. So if your projector is just slightly too close and you need to shrink it down, you can do that. You might lose a little bit of the quality doing that. So your best bet is probably to reposition the projector. But if it's your only option, that's something you can do. So if we look to the bottom, we have icons and I'm on the picture mode. If I press to the right, I'll go into sound and we have sound mode. It says medium, music, user, sports, movie, music, medium. Okay, balance, auto volume, we have surround sound, we have SRS true XT or surround and Bluetooth. So next menu on the bottom, we have sleep timer and auto sleep. Then we have on-screen display, restore factory default. We have rotate, so we can do front rear, front ceiling, rear ceiling, or front. Here's the on-screen display duration. So we have off 5, 10, or 15 seconds. And here we have the USB software update. Okay, so I don't have anything plugged in right now. So those are the settings. So you may notice there weren't any Wi-Fi settings in there. To get to Wi-Fi, we'll probably want to go to screen mirroring. So I'll click on that. So we'll go to iOS screen. It says, please connect Wi-Fi first. I'll hit okay. Now we're in the Wi-Fi setup. So I'll be setting this up. It'll bring up my Wi-Fi networks. So I'll choose one, I'll enter in my password. Okay, we're connected. I'll hit back. I'll hit mirror setting. It says airplay mode, screen mirroring, airplay. So I'll choose screen mirroring here. So I'll go back to iOS screen. It says screen mirroring for iOS system. It says turn on your iOS device and it wants you to connect to the same Wi-Fi you're connected to with the projector. So I am. And then it wants you to go into the control center and select screen mirroring and then select the Aurora P3 with the ID after it. I'll tap that on my device. And here we're mirroring. So here I have a web browser up. So if I rotate my screen, it rotates the mirroring. So I can open up a website. Let me open up. Next, I'll open up YouTube. I'll pull up a video. So now we're streaming the video from my iPad to the projector over Wi Fi. So I'm going to try Netflix. I'm pretty sure Netflix isn't supposed to work, so we'll see what happens. Okay, so I'm playing Netflix right now, and it's showing up on my iPad, but it's not showing up on the projector. So as it said in the instructions, you can't cast Netflix and probably other video streaming services, aside from like YouTube, to the projector wirelessly. So that's something to keep in mind. So I'll disconnect, and I'm back to the screen. So I'll go back to the main menu. So here we have other options. We have HDMI 1, HDMI 2. I'll connect this up to my computer. So I connected to HDMI 1. I'll press that. So here we have my screen. So now this is at 720p. I'll adjust the settings on my computer to up that to 1080p. Okay, so now I'm at 1080p. So I can't show any of it here, but Netflix does seem to work to stream to the projector. So what I would probably recommend is getting something like a Fire TV stick or a Roku to plug into the projector if you want to stream from things like Netflix or Amazon Prime Video or other streaming services. That's probably the easiest way. You can plug it into the HDMI and then use it like you would with the TV. So we can also put a thumb drive in there. So let me do that. Okay, so I'm going to plug in the flash drive. You can see in the upper right, the little flash drive icon is lit up. So if I go to movie, it will show the flash drive. We'll go to photos, that's the folder I have it in. And we'll try and pull up a movie here. Okay, I think on here somewhere I have a train. Let's look at the train. So I'll select the video, I'll hit play pause, and now it will play at full screen. Okay, so there's playing some video on it. So we can also do photos. So I can click through and select the photos I want. And then I can hit play pause and it will do a sort of slideshow. I can go down and change some of the settings also.
So you can also play music on here. I don't know that I have any music. I don't right now. But you can play music in the formats I mentioned earlier. You can also read text files too. So if you go to text, you can open up text files and read them. So if you want the most features, you would typically plug something like a Fire TV stick or a laptop in here. But this does have some basic features so you can do like a slideshow or you can play a movie. So if you're sharing something like home movies or digital pictures you took, you can just connect it right into here with like a card reader or a USB drive and view them without any other hardware. So also on here, so we can have two HDMI devices in here and we have AV and that's for those legacy devices that uses composite. Then if you want to hook up Bluetooth speaker, you can go down here to Bluetooth and then we have the settings. So the picture quality on this is what I would expect for a projector of this caliber. It's more focused in the center and it's a little less focused on the edges. Now I might be able to adjust this to make it a little bit sharper. You typically want your projector to be in the middle of the screen, so halfway between the top and bottom and the sides. And I think I'm pretty close, but I could potentially tweak it a little bit and that could potentially make it just slightly sharper. But we can adjust that setting on the top to change the focus on it here. And then we can adjust the keystone also. So if your projector is at a slight angle to the screen, you can adjust it with that. So that's the Fudani 1080p projector with Wi-Fi. If you're looking for a projector for weekend movie night, maybe doing outdoor movies, maybe you want to play Mario Kart really big, I think this is a great option. Has lots of inputs in it, has lots of versatility. I like that this comes with 2.4 and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi, so if you're mirroring from an Android or an iOS device, you can have the best performance. I did check on my power meter, and this is drawing around 88 watts, so if you're running this from a portable battery, you want to keep that in mind so you can calculate how long that will run on the battery. I like that this has an adjustable foot on it, and it also has a tripod mount so you can use this on a bench top or you can connect it up to a tripod that's very handy so that's all i'm going to cover in this video if you have any questions please leave them in the comments if you like this video please click like if you haven't subscribed to my channel i'd appreciate it if you could do that and thanks for watching until next time goodbye